be when we were very young. Uh, we dated for several years, and I got married at 19. We didn't have, we didn't have kids until we were around 25, though. And I have to tell you, um, uh, when my wife got pregnant, she was 24 years old, and uh, my, my dad and I are having this drive. And I come from a very big family, very loving family. I, I'm, I'm eight out of nine kids. And as I'm driving down the street, my father has a conversation with me as we just find out my wife is pregnant. We're so excited. And my father turns to me and says, Michael, I've got a question for you. I said, yes, father. <laughs> so that's how we talked. <laughs> I go, yeah. He goes, let me ask you this. He goes, uh, i got a question for you. Why do we have children? I'm driving down the street going, you are the dork dad. What do you mean, why do you have children? <laughs> He goes, I'm serious, why do you have children? I said, well, and I started to expound because I'm 24, I'm wise beyond my years. And so I said, I said, Dad, the reason why we have children is because I want a little mini me. I want a smaller me. I want children to bestow upon the world that represent me. He laughs and I, and I go, I don't know, you know, you have children because you want the name to carry on, you know, you know. You know. My wife and I love each other, we, you know, we have, I wanna, I wanna be able to, you know, I want to be able to raise children. I want them, I want someone to live with when I get old. <laughs> you know. I mean, why do you have children? And he looks at me, he goes, wow, those are, those are pretty selfish reasons, if you think about it. And I remember to this day, and I'm eight out of nine kids, and you didn't talk like this, but I remember going, you're pretty selfish. He goes, wow, those are, those are pretty selfish reasons. If you think about it, you want a mini me, you want to have someone to live with, you want to you, 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 I, 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 I. And I said, okay, what's your point? You have to understand, my father's an ordained deacon. He's, he's, uh, uh, he's a permanent deacon. Um, and uh, so I'm the closest thing to a preacher's kid you get as a Catholic. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know, being raised in the church, it's tough, you know. So, you know, my dad's always doing this stuff to us, and, and he asked me, so why do you have children? I said, why? He goes, those are pretty selfish reasons. I said, well, you're going to, so expand. And, um, and he says, he says, you know, uh, there's one reason why we have children. I said, why is that? It's because you have children so that we can bring them to the Father. That's the reason why you have children. It's the only reason why you have children. Everything else is self-centered. It's, it's about you. He says, we have children for one reason. Because when that child is born, the angels in heaven will rejoice. Why? Because there's one more person that has the opportunity to come to the Father. Going, whoa. It's pretty, okay, that's pretty great. He goes, absolutely. Do you know that uh, the, the, uh, the birth of a child, the, the, the creation of a child, is the only miracle that God requires our participation? Except once. <laughs> Think about it. Big lady right there. So, you know, other than that, requires a man and a woman and God. Can't have, can't have two, gotta have three. And, and it, is, it is the one time where, he, where, where it's required that you participate. The love of two will create one and heaven rejoices because that is a child that has the opportunity to come to a knowledge of the Father on their own. Whoa, he goes, no pressure, <laughs> but that's your job. <laughs> Give a whole new meaning. I gotta tell you, you know.